Hey guys, B here. Um, welcome to our next installment of Nerd Herd. And by Nerd Herd, I mean the Lib Crates discussion. We are officially moving away from Nerd Herd and more towards a Lib Crate discussion for December and January. Today, I wanted to, um, a couple of things. A, uh, say thank you for, um, allowing me the time away from the office to kind of chill and um, get back to, to a good mental health place. And um, so today we're going to be uh, finishing up our discussion of Hearts Unbroken by Cynthia Liedish smith And this story is about Luis who um, is a Native American living in Kansas, and her brother, Huey, goes, tries out for the, um, uh, the, the school play, which is The Wizard of Oz, and um, the theater director decides to do an inclusive casting. Um, and really... What what really happens is the students who apply for it, who audition for the, the play, um, are really just very good. They just happen to be people of color. Um, so, but because the, the theater director is um, pushing for advocacy for inclusiveness, um, they get some uh, feedback, some feedback from, from the community. So we, at the last time we um, left off, we were about 25%, we had 25% left to uh, talk about. And forgive me, I'm pulling up my notes. Um... So what what happens is uh, this okay spoiler we're about to get into a little bit of spoilers so if you haven't finished this book and you want to um, just let me know that uh, we're gonna talk about some things <laughs> um, so Huey gets cast as the Tin Man but ends up. Um, finding out that L. Frank Baum, the author of The Wizard of Oz, had some really troubling views on Native Americans. Um, genocidal kinds of views. So, he really didn't care for, for Native people. And Huey, being a Native person himself, finds this very troubling. And so, Huey decides to not be in the play anymore. He drops out of the play. And uh, has a, an interview with the school newspaper where he explains his reasoning for this and, um, of course, is supported by his sister and his family. And it also comes to light to the public that Huey and Luis and their family were the uh, victims of vandalization and um, some hate crimes in the way of, um, you know, racist kinds of attacks. Um, and so we end up being in a pretty okay place. Um, there were there was some time where Luis and Joey, the love interest, were kind of okay. So here's the thing that happened: Luis uh, tries to talk to Joey about um, the things that she is experiencing, and <clears throat> Joey is um, part Middle Eastern. His his dad, I think, is from the Middle East, and so. Luis tries to connect with Joey on, um, you know, being treated differently because of 
different origins, right? But she uh, doesn't do a very good job of phrasing her words and ends up offending Joey and finds that she herself was doing the very thing that she found um, hurtful from other people. So that was that was an interesting kind of uh, turn of events. Um, overall, this this book, I thought that um, the author touched on a lot of important things that need to be talked about. Um, it it would appear that the mainstream culture can be kind of cavalier about things that are offensive, such as um, Halloween costumes, um, names of sports teams, mascots. Um, you know, when I was in high school, one of the high schools that I went to was, the, the mascot was the Redmen. Redmen as in Native Americans. And, you know, at the time I didn't, I didn't understand that that could be offensive. Um, but now I do. And I can see, I can see the, the problematic nature of that. So in that way, the author did a really great job of highlighting all of these different ways that um, Native people are, their culture is not um, given the amount of respect that it deserves, right? Um, very important, very, very important that we talk about this stuff. That being said... Um, I don't, I think that the execution of talking about these topics could have been done better. Um, I found that their, the writing, the, the writing style was okay. Um, and some things that kind of stood out to me were, there were some details that seemed kind of granular kind of small details that um, seemed more distracting and didn't add to the story. Um, and, at, and, and then other things like Huey deciding to drop out of the play, I think could have been fleshed out more. Um, that to me seems like a really big plot point that because... Um, Baum, the author of Wizard of Oz, was so hateful um, that it drove Huey to drop out of the play. I think that that could have been given more attention in the writing. Um, so, I'm kind of on the fence on this book. I, um, yeah. So, as a reminder, we're talking about Hearts Unbroken by Cynthia Liedish Smith. If you, if you would like, you can get this title at the library. Um, and we also have other books on Native culture, um, works that are nonfiction and fiction by people who are Native people themselves. So... Which, by the way, this one is written by um, a Native American, um, Cynthia. So, it's all good stuff. We want to read about um, experiences from the people who have lived those experiences, right? So, those are important things. I'm going to look at my notes one last time to see if there's anything else I want to talk about. In this session of our Lib Crates. Yep. I think that that's all that I have for today. So, next week on Wednesday for our next Lib Crates discussion, I am going to be um, showing you guys 
our next title. Let me see if I can find it here. Um, I may have put it somewhere else. Oh, I know where it is. Excuse me while I walk around my, my office space. So, our next book that we're going to be reading is called 4321 by Courtney Stevens. And um, so, join us next time, and um, I'll give you a brief description of this guy. And uh, maybe I'll read a few pages of it to, to build some excitement for it. Right. So. Um, oh, one other thing. This 4321 is going to be available starting in January for our Live Crates program. So those will be available to pick up on starting on January the 4th from the library. <clears throat> All right, guys, that is all that I have for today. I hope that you all were able to read your copy of Hearts Unbroken. If you did, let me know what you think. Um, do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Let me know. I would love to hear from you. Um, and what, are, yeah, just what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on this? Um, let's talk about it. Until next time, I hope that you all have a great day. Be safe, be kind, wash your hands, and we'll see you next Wednesday. See ya.